Hey y'all, Coach in the fight here. Got Shadow Man with me. Yep, and he got his hobo hat on today. Me and my wife was having a little conversation. It was like, you know what? When you go outside with the hobo hat on, you can't forget that you got it on because there are some people who will treat you the way you look. And if you dress like a hobo, they will treat you like a hobo. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be answering a few comments. This is from a video we just did called How to Celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. And we got a few questions. One says, we can't have any yeast or vinegar either, or is that only for Passover? Please advise. Now, I answered this one already. <clears throat> there is no dietary restrictions or requirements um, in the scripture as far as what we're supposed to eat during this time. We can eat whatever we want. Um, there's nothing that we're supposed to eat. Like in Passover, she mentioned um, we're supposed to eat unleavened bread for Passover and we're supposed to eat unleavened bread for the week long feast of, of unleavened bread. But the requirement when we look at Leviticus 23 is not there. It doesn't say it. It doesn't say that we have to do anything as far as eating that does. So we have to make an offer and made by fire. And for a lot of people, that's a barbecue. But as far as bread and stuff, there is no restrictions here. The thing about it, what we learn at the uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread, that it's not about the bread, but it's actually about um, the leavening. The leavening, like the Messiah said, which is uh, the leavening of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. What that means is we don't listen to the doctrine of the hypocrites. And if you don't know who the hypocrites are, you know, tune to this channel, subscribe to this channel. We talk about hypocrites a lot on this channel. We try not to call them out by name and, you know, pick, make fun on them, but we will help you identify them for the sake of what we're supposed to do here to meet these requirements. And as far as the vinegar, we know that goes along with um, yeast and that kind of thing, the fermentation of the, the grape. Um, we are allowed to have that. That's um, a lot of people will do communion and such. So that's perfectly fine as far as the vinegar is concerned. But another thing we're not allowed to have is honey. There is no honey. And I'm actually sipping on some honey right now. But we're actually not talking about uh, food honey that we're putting in our belly honey. Honey in the Bible is representation of glory. And so what he's saying is that at these feast days, there will be no glory as in, you know, nobody's going to be exalted and you have no leavening, which means nobody's going to be preaching. And, you know, and so you start to see the uh, dissimilarities between this and, you know, how they do it at church and how it will be rejected at church. But anyway, I said I wasn't going to talk about the hypocrites. So let's go to the next question. The next question says, is this a re-uploaded video? I ask because it sounds very familiar. Yeah, it is. Um, we're having guests over for the first time uh, this year for Tabernacles. We have invited people over before, but nobody has uh, come except maybe my mother-in-law. And she's never really come for Tabernacles. So this is the first time we'll have guests over for Tabernacles other than my uh, son. And so we've been really busy. But anyway, we have some stuff um, special coming up. This was a uh, re-uploaded video. But, you know, the thing about our videos, guys, is they are what they call evergreen videos, which means that they never really get old. And if you find one that is old, just let me know so I can take it down or, or do something with it. You know, there's no need that, you know, somebody can stumble on this channel and find old antiquated or, or information or even something that was in error. So you guys feel free to help by giving me a timestamp or just point out and say, hey, this video, it needs to be deleted or edited or changed or something. And I'll look at it and I'll get it fixed. And we thank you guys, you know, for praying for us. We do need a lot of prayer in this line of work. We do need a lot of a lot of prayer. And we thank you for all that you're doing here as well. These comments and everything you guys do, they help a lot, you know, including hitting the like button and that kind of thing. Um, the next one says, when do we celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles? And that is at sunset today. At sunset today, the Feast of Tabernacles starts. And that's you know why we're doing this video is, you know, because there's a lot of people who's going to be wondering what it is that we're supposed to be doing 
And um, the video that we reposted gives a lot of that type of information in it. If you're not sure what we're supposed to be doing, check out that other video. It talks about um, celebrations. It talks about um, what we're supposed to read as far as the Bible is concerned. It talks about um, uh, even offerings and that kind of thing in that video. So check out that other video. But today, October the 29th, uh, this is what they call Sunday. Today starts the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Today is the day we'll get in the booths. And again, like I said, we're here at the Hillbilly Homestead. We got some stuff, uh, Father Will and whatever he allows us to do. We got some, a lot of stuff, a lot of ideas in mind. So stay, in, stay tuned to the channel uh, to see uh, what we got going on. And you'll have the opportunity to share in the comment section what you got going on. But let's jump over and see what the next question is. It says, did feast already begin on uh, this past Saturday and this Sunday? No, um, no, guys, we're going to have to get right on this calendar. Um, we appreciate people coming over from other channels and asking these kind of questions about the calendar and how it works, because it reminds us that, you know, not everybody gets it. You know, we kind of get complacent a little bit. And we start thinking that everybody gets this calendar and how it works and all it is not reminding ourselves that there are some who are brand new to the faith and they're not able to um, get a lot of information that helps them to understand this calendar until they get over on this channel. I uh, praise our father in heaven who has blessed us with this information since about 2015. But anyway, the answer is no. It starts this evening, October the 29th. And, you know, when do we start sleeping in tents? That's this evening, October the 29th. At sunset um, is the time when we're supposed to be tabernacling until, um, well, for the next uh, eight days, seven or eight days, depending on how you count. And so, guys, I just want to come out here and share that with you. Um, guys, uh, we um, are getting ready to start getting ready, <laughs> getting ready to start getting ready. And then... Um, Hopefully we'll do some live stuff and have some stuff going on uh, for you guys throughout the day. Some experimental stuff um, going on. So um, we will be making mistakes. I promise you that. So bear with us as we try to uh, try some of these ideas and stuff that we got going on. In the meantime, um, if you have any more questions or anything, I'll put them below and I'll keep asking them. Uh, Lord Father willing, I'll keep maybe make them another video like this as we get prepared and um more updates i should say and i'll talk to you later oh and ask me about atonement day yeah i think we all messed that one up